Hi, my name is Yves Corbet and let me introduce you to Story Whispering. The more you want to control a story, the least understood you are. The more you will scream the story, the least listened to you are. Nowadays, I see storytelling becoming story yelling. And a good example of that is Microsoft. They are control freaks yelling their thing. Still, I can't freaking understand the story. Move away from story yelling and get to story whispering or die. So what is story whispering? Well, it's imperfect. has great beauty and great effectiveness into the non-perfect. It's incomplete. Leaving gaps on purpose so our consumers can fill them in and own that part of the story. It's impetuous. Guts to guts conversations. But why story whispering? Well, three simple reasons for that. First, today the line between ATL and BDL is getting quite blurry. You've got bonfires so big, they look like fireworks. We've seen that with the candidate. Second, you've got the consumers themselves. They have mutated. They are now killing the web so internet can live. And third, you've got your competitors. They're there to snipe you down, to blow your head off, or maybe both, but they're out there. So to whom? Well, you all know about Lucas, right? AKA D target. Well, let me tell you a secret. He does not exist. He is a marketing whim, um, an imaginary friend. I say it's time to get back to adulthood. Let's take an example, me and Pampers. I bought Pampers last week. Well, I gotta say, my son is a big peer. Boy, does he love to pee. So I buy lots of Pampers. But that last week, when I came in to change his diaper, alerted by his ear-splitting malady, I mean, the whole thing was was a mess. I mean, the diaper itself had disintegrated into multiple lumps. A heck of a spectacle. But the thing is, did I sue them? No. For I have heard about Pampers way before the incident. I saw packaging back in the days when I was getting pads for my teenage girlfriend. I didn't really notice any of the ads. But I was not in the target group. But I didn't care and I didn't know that. And then I forgot everything about Pampers. Until my son came in. Now, today, I am convinced that Pampers is the best brand on earth. Not only do I believe what they say, but I expand the conversation about it whenever possible, especially when it's not the subject, like now. Their brand story is now embodied, integrated into me. Unconsciously, the story whispered to me. Speaking of integrated, integrate the fact that our consumers don't give the rat's bottom about our campaigns. Integrate the fact that we're not welcome in their life. And integrate the fact that we need an invitation, man. An early example of uh, story whispering, still not conscious, is Desperado's beer in the early days. From beer mats in one flies-ball region to Heineken portfolio number two, aside from this, even today, there's not a lot of examples of story whispering. It is new. 
It is brand new. It is unspoken of, unthought, and untaught. So how to do story whispering then? Well, first, don't yell to sell light bulbs. Whisper so light can be bought. Functional benefits of a geeks, dummies, or chimps. Emotion is our playground. I mean, I don't care if my iPhone cam has like 12 megapixel. I want to snap my son peeing in the trees. And I don't care if my goodsy has 54 horsepower. I want my girlfriend to moan whenever I make the goodsy roar. Desperados to the bone. So you see here, the, the whole story is not told, and it's only partly told. And this is on purpose, because guess who's going to fill in the gaps? Our consumers, yes. And they're going to hone that part of the story. So, story whispering. Basically, don't yell. Whisper. They'll hear you. Don't speak. Listen, I'm sure you're going to learn something. Don't sell, make people buy the story. How's it going?